A wonderful day, grade 2. Today, you will learn about punctuation marks. I will discuss two punctuation marks. So, let us now start with the first punctuation mark, which is the period. If we say period, it is a small dot-shaped punctuation mark and it is found at the end of a sentence that symbolizes a full stop. Therefore, when you see it, you need to stop for a while. You use a period at the end of any sentence that is intended to make a statement and to give a command or request. Let's have examples for you to see where can we find a period and how to use it. Number 1. Jake is reading a book in the library. Look at the pink arrow and tell me, why do you think we used a period at the end of the sentence? Very good! We used a period at the end of the sentence because our sentence intends to make a statement. How about number 2? RJ, go and get the broom. What punctuation mark did we use at the end of the sentence? Excellent! We used a period at the end of the sentence because our sentence tells RJ to do something or simply our sentence expresses a command. Let's proceed to number 3. Julia, please wash the plates. So once again, what do you call the punctuation mark pointed by the pink arrow? Great job! It is a period, and we use it in this sentence because it intends to make a request. So what punctuation mark did we use in these sentences? A period. Very good. Let's recall how we used a period. First, we use it when the sentence intends to make a statement. Second, if the sentence intends to make a command. And third, we use a period if the sentence intends to make a request. Now, let's discuss about the second punctuation mark, which is the question mark. So when do we use a question mark? Do you have any idea? Let us define what a question mark is. A question mark is used at the end of a sentence that asks a question. Aside from that, it is also used to identify interrogative sentences. So, interrogative sentence, when you say interrogative sentence, it is a type of sentence that asks a question and it ends with a question mark. You use a question mark to express doubt or uncertainty, or if you are not sure of something. Let's have examples for you to see where is a question mark located and also with how we use it. Number 1. Where is your language book? What punctuation mark did we use in this sentence? Very good! We use the question mark at the end of the sentence because our sentence is an example of an interrogative sentence. Let's have the second example. Can you teach me how to swim? Where is the question mark located this time? Great job! A question mark is located at the end of our sentence. How about our third example? Are you allowed to join the field trip? Why did we use a question mark in this sentence? Very good! We used a question mark in our example because it expresses uncertainty since we are not sure if you are allowed to join the field trip. So what punctuation mark did we use in these sentences? Very good. It is a question mark. Let's recall when did we use a question mark. First, we use it when we ask a question. 
or when we have an interrogative sentence. And we also use a question mark if our sentence expresses doubts or uncertainties. Once again, the two punctuation marks that we discussed today are period and question mark. Let's try to have an exercise. Identify the appropriate punctuation mark at the to end the sentence. Is it a period or a question mark? Number one, the kids are running fast. What punctuation mark should we use at the end of the sentence? Is it a period or a question mark? Very good. It is a period. Number two, how do you make a coffee jelly? What punctuation mark should we use at the end of the sentence? Is it a period or a question mark? Very good. It is a question mark because the sentence is an example of an interrogative sentence. Number three, I want some spaghetti for my birthday. What punctuation mark should we use at the end of the sentence? Is it a period or a question mark? Very good. It is a period because it expresses a statement or indirect request. Number four, Vic loves to play in the sand. What punctuation mark should we use at the end of the sentence? Is it a period or a question mark? Very good. It is a period. And number five, who is your favorite cartoon character? What punctuation mark should we use at the end of the sentence? Is it a period or a question mark? Great job! It is a question mark. So that's it for today. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you and God bless you. Be safe!